Welcome to another episode of The More You Share, The More You Know. I'm Yoselina Hernandez with Education Service Center Region 19 here in El Paso, Texas. And today we're going to be looking at another Web 2.0 uh, tool, and that's going to be Prezi. A lot of people have been using Prezi recently, and Prezi is going to be a presentation tool, but it's all online. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to look at different versions of it, um, such as PowerPoint. If you want to compare Prezi to PowerPoint, PowerPoint is more like a slide. Uh, you have one slide and then the next slide, so it's very linear. Prezi, you can put you know, anything you want in your presentation, on top, bottom, left, right, wherever you want. And then you just tell Prezi, I want you to show this first, second, third, fourth, etc. So we're going to be looking at uh, Prezi really quick. Um, the first thing that I want to show you all is how to get an educational license, because that's important. Because the, the free account, uh, the private free account, is very limited. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go into creating a Prezi and then how to collaborate in a Prezi because uh, a lot of times, again, you have a presentation with students that, uh, the, that one of the students is going to be typing on the presentation after all the research is done. And what you want is to have all students be working or be part of the Prezi, be part of the collaboration, the editing, the designing of their presentation. So that's what we're going to be looking at. So we're going to go ahead and go on to Prezi.com. And I've already opened it up here. So before I go ahead and log in, I want to show you uh, to sign up. Right here, there's a big blue button. You click on sign up. And then you'll see, remember I was talking to you about the public uh, license here. You can, uh, all of your presentations here are going to be public. Um, the, you can uh, edit and share your Prezi's, but notice that the space is only uh, 100 megabytes. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you're going to see the student and teacher license. So when you click on that, notice that now you can create Prezi's that are private because this is for educational use. You can use your own logo. So if you have your school or your district logo that you want to use on your Prezi's, you can on this one. And then notice that now your storage space is 500 megabytes. So it's important to have an education um, license. So I'm going to go ahead and, and log in. Now, if you've already created uh, another account, you know, just a regular public account, you can still change it to an educator account. Notice that right here I'm logged in. It has my name, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. If you click on Settings and Account, and you scroll down, right here you can upgrade your license. You can let them know that you're in an educational uh, institution. Or if you switch from one institution to the other, you can still go ahead and upgrade uh, and change your email on here. Okay, so when you log in to Prezi, uh, it's going to take you here directly to your Prezi's. Notice that I already have some Prezi's, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new Prezi. And if you've worked with Prezi before, um, I know that you've seen this, uh, this circle, they call it the zebra. Well, it's no longer what you use to edit uh, anything on Prezi, so that's one of the things that I wanted to show you. When you do log in, you have some templates that you can choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the blank one, the very first one. And the reason why I like the blank one is because I can do whatever I want with this one. So right up here, if you notice where it says template, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to customize the current template. And here is where I can decide what everything's going to look like. So my background, let's say I'm going to choose this uh, nice pink one. And as I'm going, you can tell exactly how it's going to look. Because a lot of times when you have presentations, it looks really nice um, on your screen. And then once you put it up, um, when you're presenting, it may not look as nice. So right here, you can see exactly what it's going to look like. If you want to, you can add your own background. Um, and it'll add it in 3D. Or if you want to add your custom logo, this is what I was talking about. And what will happen is on every um, slide that you go to, it's going to have your logo. So I'm just going to leave it there as pink. I'm going to go next. And then right here I can decide what font I want. And you have three different um, fonts. You have your title, for your subtitle, and then for your body. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one, just pick uh, one of the fonts, and then right here I can select the color as well. So I, I, I want something that's going to pop out. Same thing with my subtitle. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, maybe white, and then uh, for my body, let's say that one. And maybe black will pop out a little bit better. So obviously your students are going to take quite a bit of time uh, choosing their colors, but eventually, uh, you know, their, their presentations usually end up really well at the end. I'm going to go ahead and click next, and then you can also add on Prezi circles and frames. Um, so right here you can select the color. Uh, for example, here I'm selected the color of a circle and frame, the bracket and uh, frame and rectangle. Let's say uh, that color for my arrows, and then I can also use markers, so I can go ahead and change that. I'm going to go ahead and click Done, and now my Prezi is uh, using the colors that I have just selected. Now this is all customized. If you want to create a quick one, you can select one of the templates that were already there, so that's really up to you. Okay, so we've looked at the theme. Now one of the other things that I wanted to show you, remember I talked about the zebra. Um, you don't have the zebra anymore. The zebra is gone. What you have here is now a square rectangle, kind of like um, you know, in, in, in any other uh, program that you're using, you can just stretch with, uh, or make it bigger or smaller with, um, with the square here. You can just, uh, uh, and you can also rotate. When you get to the square over here on the right side, or actually on, on any of the corners, you get that little arrow that's kind of curved, and that one can rotate it. Now, Prezi, like I told you, the difference uh, between that and, and um, PowerPoint is that you can put things anywhere you want. Notice that I'm, I'm scrolling in and out, I'm, I'm zooming in and out of my canvas, and I can add things anywhere I want on here. So I'm going to go ahead and add something. If I just double click, I can start typing. Now, as I type, I can move my text. I can also decide if this is a title, a subtitle, or if it's the, the body. Remember that I had already selected uh, this before. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then if I want to, now remember that I have already chosen the color, but if I want to, I can change the color um, right here on the spot. Maybe I don't want this one to be green. Maybe I want it to be white, so I can do that. And then there's a little arrow over here that gives me other options. I can make this a uh, bulleted item. So I can go ahead and add that. Now once it's here, remember I told you I can make it bigger or smaller. And uh, as you're creating things in uh, Prezi, like I said, you can rotate them, you can move them, and you can hide things, and that's one of the the neat things about Prezi. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. And then I'm also going to go ahead and insert some things. So um, we can insert images, symbols, etc. And one of the newest things is you can add background music to your presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and add some music. So right here we're going to go ahead and add a VPF. So now when I play it, it's going to go ahead and have that sound. And you should be able to hear once it starts. Okay, so the song is starting, but we'll look at the presentation in just a minute. Okay, so I'm also going to go ahead and add an image. Now, when I click on Insert Image, it's going to search from Google. If you already have an image uh, before you can, uh, that you've already saved before, you can search it in your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and search for, um, let's see what I can find on civil rights. So right here I have all of my pictures. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. I'm going to click on insert. And so it's uh, processing. It may take a, a couple of seconds. So now, and remember, I can pan out and, and put my images or my text wherever I want. 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this picture. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Maybe I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and type something else. So just to show you, now that I've, I have all my items here, I have my tags, I have my pictures, I've, I've selected my background music, now the only thing that I have left is to edit the path. Remember, uh, for Prezi, we have to tell it what to do first, second, third, etc. So right now it has uh, as number one this circle. So I'm going to go ahead and um, delete that. And all I have to do if I click on the edit path, I'm going to go ahead and click on this X, and that deletes it. So now it's asking, okay, so what do you want to do first? So the first thing that I want to show is this. This is going to be my title. Notice that as I click, it's going to be adding it over here on the left side. And then I want to go ahead and make this picture my second item, and then this one my third item. And once I'm done, I can hit uh, click on done over here or uh, edit path again and it'll uh, finish that. After everything's uh, selected here for my path, I can still edit them um, if I want to maybe click on this one and then move it up, I can do that. And then also if I want to make this, you know, smaller or bigger, that's, it really doesn't matter. It's already on there, so it's going to zoom in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit present. I'm going to go ahead and start, and this would be my presentation. So you see again, this was the very first thing that I decided to do. I'm going to click next, and even though that is really, really small, you can still uh, see it, and you should be able to hear the, the music that I selected as a background, uh, the background uh, music. And then go ahead and click next and then I'll see my, my images. So anything that I select, what happens is that it zooms in. So as I rotate, you can see kind of like a camera moving through my presentation. So um, that's, that's how you create a Prezi. Now, in order for the students to collaborate together, remember I talked about the students working on a presentation at the same time. So if you click on share, there's a, a share button up here. You can click on invite to edit. So what it does is it gives you a link. You copy the link go to your email and send that person the, um, the link, and then they'll be able to edit at the same time. Now, they do need to have a um, Prezi account, so anybody that wants to edit needs to have a Prezi account, and then in the end, they can uh, share that with you, or they, uh, you can uh, just go in to, to uh, or they can log in and they can see their presentation. Um, that's it for Prezi. Uh, thank you so much for join, uh, joining us for another episode of The More You Share, The More You Know. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.